All right, y'all, I got a, a great dividend growth stock for you. I know you all have heard of it. Verizon Communications, ticker VZ. This is a great dividend paying company <clears throat> and is known for doing dividend hikes. Let's run through it. Um, on Friday, it closed in the post market at $36.10. All right, got a 52 week low of $34.55, meaning in the last year, it, had, it has a low. This company has a low of $34.55. Got a 52 week high of $52.18. Meaning in the last year, this company has reached a high price of $52.18. As you can see right now, it's closing is at $36.10. Meaning if you buy it right now at $36.10 and the future goes up to $52, hell, if it goes to $50, you're able to, to swing trade and sell it. And scalp, scalp profit, uh, profits, I'm sorry. But while waiting on it to reach the $50 or the $52 price, this company pays a dividend of 7.22 per percent. I mean, while you sit, you sit in there wait, waiting on it to go from $36 to $52 or $50, you will collect a 7.22 per, per percent dividend yield on your money. That's not bad. <laughs> um, but let's go on through it. Uh average trade value, 18.70 million like i said anything over a million i i personally con, con, con consider that stock company to have high high trade 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 value this is at 15 min 15 million i'm sorry so that's that's 15 times what i con, con, consider the the start of a company having high trade value uh pe rate, rate ratio at 7.01 meaning this is an under value company this is a great time to enter in, in, in into this stock you really at the prices that you can really come on in and, and, and uh, load it up i mean you got a 52 week low of 34.55 i mean you coming in at 36.10 i mean if i was coming in i set my buy my buy limit is at 36 dollars and three and three three cents or you could just do 36 dollars uh even and this dollar calls average on down. Um, market cap one point one hundred and fifty two billion. Like I say, dividend yield seven point two two per per percent. It pays a two dollars and sixty one cent a share yearly dividend. That's two dollars and sixty one cent a share yearly dividend. I don't really have to go to the um to the to the pro to the pro, pro profile because I assume y'all already know who, but but Verizon Wireless or Verizon com communicate communications is or are whichever way it goes. <laughs> uh, let me show you the di the dividend payout history. All right, two two thousand twelve it paid two dollars and two cents a share. Two thousand thirteen it made a dividend hike to two thousand. Two dollars and eight cents a share. 2014, it hiked its dividend to, to two dollars and fourteen cents. 2015, it hiked its dividend to two dollars twenty-two cents. 2016, it hiked its dividend to two twenty-seven. They jumped to 2019, it hiked its dividend to two dollars forty-two cents. 2020, it hiked it to two forty-seven. Um, I'm gonna show you just the, uh, the quarterly payouts of share. It hikes its dividend to $2.47 in 2020. 2021, it, it hiked its dividend to $2.52 a share. 2022, it hiked its dividend again to $2.57. Uh, the last month of October, it, it pays uh, 0.653 cent a share uh, quarterly. I can see in two, 2023, it's remaining the same now. This company has a, a, a history of making dividend hikes. Um, as you as you can see, show you right here. Um, the payout ratio of this company is fifty point eighty two percent. The payout rate ratio is meaning at a hundred. 
percent of its profits it uses 50.82 percent of that to pay dividends to the share, share shareholders let me say that again at 100 percent of its profits it pay it it takes 50.82 percent of its profits to pay the dividends the 7.22 div, the dividend yield to pay the dividends out to shareholder shareholders so being at 50.8 Two, they still have room to do more dip more dividend hikes. Um, set your buy your buy limits at 30, 36, 36 dollars. Write it on down. Like I said, it got a PE rate ratio of 7.01. That is an undervalued company. You can buy it at the 7.01. You can wait till the PE uh ratio goes up to 20 and sell it then. But look at the 52 week range price. If you buying it at 36. Oh hell, you can sell it at 48, 45, whatever you want to do. You don't have to sell uh all of your your shares. You 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 can always just scalp, 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 scalp profit is what I call it. If you got 20 shares at $36, it goes up to $48. You up 12 cents a share times 10, that's $120 in profit. You just scalp $120 in profit. Leave your initial shares there just in case it rises up to $52. You know, you have some skin in the game still, so you can scalp pro scalp scalp profits late later. And if it goes and make a new fifty two week high past the fifty two dollars, at least you got some shares in the in the game that, that you will be able to, to sell or scalp scalp profit still. Subscribe to my page, hit the like button. Um look at my recent videos. I got some good info in those vid in those videos. You got to subscribe to my page for daily and live updates. Talk to you later.